In this lecture, we will uh, learn about the index formula computation for a 3D array wherein the elements are stored in room measure order fashion. And uh, let's say the dimensions here are, this is the first dimension which is representing u1. Let's say this is the second dimension which is representing u2. And let's say this is the third dimension representing u3. It would see, uh, we, we, we can realize this in the form of a uh, cuboid with the dimensions u1, u2 and u3 respectively. And the, the array is A, L1 is to U1, L2 is to U2, and L3 is to U3. Fine. Uh, now for the assumptions that we have been, we have taken it earlier also, for the 2D arrays and the 1D array, <clears throat> let's say the first index is 1, second index is also starting from 1 and the third index is also starting from the third dimension is also starting from 1 and every element is requiring 1 byte for the storage now if I say that uh, this is a 3D array and we actually break this into various pieces or the various slices if you cut it from here and you have a slice and you cut it from here you also have a slice and you cut it from here again you have some slice so the total number of slices that you can cut here are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on so forth up to u1 so you will have a total number of u1 slices cut because the total number of uh, elements on the row side is assumed to be u1 or the first dimension is u1 so total number of slices here will be u1 now if I make these slices like this this is the first slice, second slice, third slice and so on and so forth then total number of slices will be u1 so 1, 2, 3 and total number of u1 slices and let's say this is the ith slice Fine. every slice is of size u2 into u3 Fine. So this is also, this is of size u2, u3, this is also of size u2, u3, this is also of size u2, u3, this is also of size u2, u3, and this is also of size u2, u3. We can think that, we can think this of as a 2D array. Fine, this is a 2D array. So every slice is actually of size u2, u3, it means this is a 2D array. So we have now realized a 3D array in the form of U1 2D arrays and every 2D array is of size U2 U3 so if I know that the address of first element means A1 1 1 1 this is alpha it means I know the address of this element so what will be the address of this element this is A2 1 1 1 so you would have come to this element only after the storage of all these elements and total number of element in this 2d array is u2 u3 so after a storage of u2 and u2 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 cross u3 elements you must you must have come here so the address of this element will be alpha plus u2 into u3 similarly if you want to find out the address of this element means that a 3 1 1 so this will be alpha plus 2 into u2 u3 why 2 into u2 u3 u2 u3 element in the first dimension uh, in the first 2d array and u2 cross u3 element in the second 2d array fine similarly if you want to find out the address of i11 a i11 it means this element so this will be alpha plus i minus 1 into u2 e3 why so because if it is 3 if it is 2 it is 1 multiplied with u2 u3 if it is 3 it is 2 multiplied with u2 u3 if it is i so it will be i minus 1 multiplied with u2 u3 now let us come to this this array let us expand this array in this array this size is u2 so 1 2 3 and so on and so forth u2 and this is u2 u3 so you already know the address of this element 
what will be the address of this element you will come here after the storage of all these elements in the row side so on the row side the total number of elements are u3 so the address of this element will be address of this element plus u3 so a i 2 1 we are changing this one which is re with respect to the second index second dimension why so u2 is representing the second dimension and this is on the row side in on the u2 side so this will be alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus u3 now the address of this element will be u3 plus again u3 so a i 3 1 this will be equals to alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus 2 into u3 fine similarly if i am interested in finding out the address of first element in the jth row so this will be equals to alpha sorry a i j 1 alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus j minus 1 u3 why j minus 1 because if it is 3 here it is 2 multiplied with u3 if it is 2 here it is 1 multiplied with u3 if it will be j here it will be j minus 1 multiplied with u3 now i know the address of this element the address of this element will be one more than this so a i j2 will be equals to alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus j minus 1 u3 plus 1 the address of this element which is a i j 3 this will be equals to alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus j minus 1 u3 plus 2 fine similarly if i am interested in finding out the address of some kth element on this in, um, in this dimension so a i j k this will be equals to alpha plus i minus 1 u2 u3 plus j minus 1 u3 plus k minus 1 why it is k minus 1 if it is 2 here it is plus 1 if it is 3 here it is plus 2 if it is k here it will be k minus 1 so this is the preliminary formula with the assumptions for a 3d array wherein the elements are stored in the column uh, row major order fashion now if i try to remove the assumptions then uh, i is on first dimension side j is on second dimension side k is on third dimension side and every element is requiring n byte for the storage for say so removing the assumptions the first assumption is that every element is requiring n byte for the storage so every quantity other than alpha will be multiplied with n now for the i j and uh, k and then u1 u2 u3 i will be replaced by i minus l1 plus 1 fine so if it is replaced with i minus l plus 1 and there is a minus 1 so minus 1 and plus 1 will be cancelled out so this will be i minus l1 u2 will be u2 minus l2 plus 1 u3 will be u3 minus l3 plus 1 Similarly for j it will be j minus l2 plus 1 and plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out. j minus l2 only u3 will be replaced by u3 minus l3 plus 1 and plus this k the third dimension k minus l3 a minus l3 plus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out the whole quantity multiplied with n thank you